Namaste my Phoenicians. Hi, my name is Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. Divine Feminine, it's your turn. Time for the big cat to talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's call in the energies. Energies up. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Let's get the domino of the day. You know that um on on um twenty ninth last full moon of twenty twenty a cold moon at that. A full moon is a chance for you to to recharge yourself, it activates our um, divine feminine energy. Whoa, thank you all. Mm -hmm. It activates divine feminine energy, and it will be a time for you um, for cleansing, for you to claim the power of clarity and healing. My Phoenician, catch that wave if you can. Oh, we have the energy of the Empress and the Emperor. Balancing out your masculine and feminine. Some of you will be going into a union, a divinely guided union. Mm -hmm. A meeting of mind, body, and spirit. Yes, baby. Why did I turn on the lights? Got them on now. Mm -hmm. The energy. <coughs> the energy of a 4 3 is saying that if you are expecting some disappointments ahead, Right, you're not going to have disappointments, you are going to have victories, my Phoenician. This is what is foretold for you. This is part of your of your ascension. Mm -hmm. You've got some of you are taking on an attitude of it, always expecting the worst. Don't always expect the worst. It's not what's coming, it's not it's not your portion, darling dear. No, it's not. Mm -mm. The energy of the four brings into mind the word um, communication. This is about letters you receive in some kind of letter or email, a phone call. Mm -hmm. This is also you having to do such, make, um, send out that letter. Something important has to be delivered. Mm -hmm. This again, the four speaks about someone new coming into your life, a new partnership, possibly a future husband or wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who is um, somewhat sexually dominant in the bedroom. Yes, baby, this is an experienced lover, an older person. Mm. I'm not getting whether it's older than you, but it's older than what you had in the past. The past! We don't talk about the past! This bill and no! Mm -mm. The big cat doesn't know anything about the past. East Island, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. The word, the, the number three also brings into mind the word conflict. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a nerve wracking period for some people. Mm -hmm. This is also a message for you to keep your wits about you. Keep that arch third eye truly shined, divine feminine. Use your discernment, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. That's along with common sense, which we all know. That is a flower that does not grow in every garden. Hey, hey, pink is up. Mm -hmm. Your life path is about to change direction, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, Scotty, it's... How can I put... You are on the path to fulfilling your, your life purpose. Because you see, Divine Feminine, if you found me, it wasn't by chance. 
You didn't wake up one morning and say, I'm going to look for Frequency Phoenix 555. No. You are one of the chosen. And you was brought to me so that you would heal and understand what this stronghold was in your way. Corinthians 2, chapter 10, um, verse 4. This is about you coming past, surpassing those strongholds and understanding they have no power in your life. None. No. Mm -mm. Okay, the energy of the emperor is Aries energy. Mm -hmm. This is about you. Um, you came to this week reading a question in mind. The answer to that with the emperor being the first that I called, it's a maybe. So if you're wanting something to go your way, it's a maybe. But you have to remember, you need faith the size of a mustard seed. The emperor also embodies a father figure. This is structure. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is, um, as I said, this person is dominating the bedroom because they're good at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have the energy of the empress, which is Venus as well as Earth energy. This is about you adopting self-love, knowing your worth, keeping yourself to yourself on your throne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Protect, protecting and guarding your perimeter for any if shit. Right. By day or night. Because <laughs> you got free go to moves and you're ready for it. You wish I would. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The Empress also speaks about fertility. Some of you may be pregnant or about to give birth at this moment in time. This is also a new situation. If you're going to... If children is what you desire in this union, a child shall be born. Mm-hmm. This is about you tapping into that um, abundance, abundance factor. Pardon me, because you, when I belt, you know I speak the truth, roof, pink is up. Yeah. You know how to bend the matrix. You know how to do the old switcheroo on the scupper and scuppers. Mm -hmm. Let's get a rune up. Get some names on the deck. Claim that energy at the cold moon. Mm -hmm. How many did we get? Oh, we got four today. Emperor energy again. Nay's getting nervous. So are we going to be hearing bad stuff? Nay's just a jumping and a bucking and a bucking and a jumping. Mm -hmm. The first room we have out is Kanaz. Mm -hmm. This is about understanding, me learning. This is you acquiring higher knowledge. Divine Feminines. This is um, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is represented by the letter K. We also have Ingus. Ingus is talking about your fresh start. It also brings in the male energy, the male fertility, also, as well as gestation. I told you. And a child was born. Yes, baby. Somebody's getting pregnant or giving birth. This is also reminding you that you need to protect your home, your sanctuary. At all costs. Make sure that you're using your Polo Santo. Cussing in every room. Claiming dominion. Mm -hmm. This represents the letter N and G. So we have K, N, G. Good golly gosh. In the upright as well. We have good Bacana. Mm -hmm. This again indicates a birth. A new beginning. I told you somebody's having a child. are going to be hearing of a pregnancy. Mm -hmm. This is about you having had personal growth and true liberation, Divine Feminine. This is represented by the letter B. Oh, the final rune. All in the upright, I might add. Right. It's swallow. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to have to swallow their mouth, mate. This is also sun energy. This is about you achieving goals and honours. Your honours being realised. Mm -hmm. As I said, you've learned to master the matrix of everything that you have. Is that what matters to you? Can you do that? Yeah, you are, you are that you're discovering more what matters to you, and you're bringing that from Kiza to Malkuf. Mm. 
and it's destabilizing a lot of people but you're going to be getting some form of communication from somebody that you you're not you're not talking to this person it could be friend family member co whatever someone that you're not talking to at this moment in time it's going to try and come through scotty come through are you hey come through sound like run through i don't like either of them words ambivert i say check from our upper window Look, three cards just fell off like that. We've got V-Star. I told you it's about expanding your horizons. Coming out of that box. That dysfunctional box. One where you was put in. Look at you. This is the fool. This is you about you. Um, Carp DMing it. Moving towards a new adventure. Mm -hmm. Again, the fool could actually mean birth again. This is a new beginning. It could be a new romance. Mm -hmm. the, I see a ship in the background. This is your, this is your ships coming in. Your goals and your dreams being realized. We also see the cliffs. This talks about obstacles. These obstacles, they're easily surpassed because you have purple all over them. Full of wisdom. You understand it all now, Scotty. Yeah, you had the bird's eye view. Drop down and got your eagle on divine feminines. Yay! Yay! That's how posh people clap. We're poshing this bitch. Mm -hmm. Did I turn this upside? Yeah, I did when I put them down. Right. Ascending the, mount the mountain, keep going forward. I told you, whatever obstacles were in your way, you've got that red cloak of wisdom. Mm -hmm. oh, holding on to your ace of wands, your new beginning, your new passionate beginning. This has been a spiritual journey for your divine feminine because we are at spiritual war. This is a time where soul families are coming into meeting. This is how you met me. It was by design. It's not a mistake. I was put here to trigger your healing. Let go of those principalities. Those strongholds that was holding you back from that greatness within you. Because when you fell, you fell on your back. And you knew that if you can look up, you can get up. Mm -hmm. And my, oh my, how you got up, Divine Feminine. Bravo. Bravo. Mm-hmm. We also have Journey by Moonlight, Leaving Magic. Yes, really, the magic of the universe is at your back. This is about you having illumination. The yellow, it talks about enlightenment. Mm -hmm. We also see dark yellow. There's a lot of jealousy, right, and envy being directed at your door by gnomes. Yeah, garden gnomes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is about you having an in-your-face transformation, finding abundance, self-worth, being nurturing. See the two trees, that's that duality, balance. It's as though you're still between those two pillars of wisdom as the high priestess, Boaz and Jashin. Completion and beginning. By design, Divine Feminine, by design. On the base of the deck, this is navigating by the stars. This is about you following your bliss. This is about you learning your north node and understanding the music of the matrix, going towards your Chiron, finding the tools on how you heal, finding your Venus, recognizing how you love, how you want love approaching you. What type of love? Because your love is very expensive and dear. We told you already. I told you. If you've been in that bargain bucket, bebe, take yourself out of that. Immediately strut. Go up behind the counter into the lock cabinet on the highest shelf with security and cameras. Mm -hmm. This is about you being on your pedestal. This also brings into mind that hermit, you had got, you've gone within self-examination, self-improvement, isolating yourself. This has been a lonely time for a lot of you. Lonely in the sense where a lot of toxic bottom feeders, back front neck stabbers, toxic family members, right? Judas, Judas and Fagan. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, I'm, I could go on, I could. Right? Because they were nothing but animals in a kitchen hill. Divine separated you from all of that. Bull swanky. Luke 17, 34. Two were in the bed. Oops. 
I'm being friendly now. One was shaken. You was taken divine feminine, right? Because you was not on the voyage of the heart. You was low vibing with bottom feeders, accepting bull swanky, which, which almost, almost turned your heart to stone. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to be the upside. And was it queen of swords? But you said, no, babe. That box don't fit me. I did not choose the colour work. Right? I've got high highfalutin ideas. Full energy. You're learning how to be spontaneous. You have a new thirst for life. Because this new beginning came about by with faith. The size of a mustard seed. Not knowing where your next step was going to take you. Because they took a bitch down, Scotty. But as I said, when you fell... You fell on your back. And as you got up, you washed your face like David. And you, Matthew 10, 14. You dusted off your sandals. Where you felt disrespected and headed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look what's on the base of your neck. Backstabbing. Mm -hmm. A lot of mental and verbal abuse. Lies, gossip. Right? Some of you even have had to have medical assistance because of these neck stabbers. Right? Drawing on your divine light. They broke your body down, but they didn't know that your spirit was free. And you gave your soul free will to guide you, as I did. I did. And it, listen, the plane was leveled. All that had to go had to be escorted from my, my sight. Mm -hmm. Easter Island, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Bebe. <laughs> Look at this lovely, lovely, lovely first set of cards. Mm hmm. We have the world card, Saturn, and fire energy, as well as fixed energy of Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. Mm -hmm. This is about you continuing to be persistent in organizing your life, closing the chapter, calling completion, and last round, right? On F shit, right? Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. This is about you, um... Oh having a more desirable outcome, closing that chapter. We see the jig dealer, right? Looking at the chapter that you've closed with them. Yes, baby, that matrix back is having a good look. I would love to come in and recreate it. Uh, unhappy, un, unhappy, unsatisfactory ending of a cycle for some. Mm -hmm. Because you know your worth. You're not even looking at the jig dealer. You don't see them. You don't hear them, and you're sure as, sure as sure, right? You can't smell them. No. Your focus, is, your focus is on learning, on educating yourself. Some of you are advisors, counselors mm -hmm, in the health industry, building up your clientele. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that knows how to take action. You are, you have the power, some of you have the power of oration. Mm -hmm. Writing those books. This is a new chapter that you're going to be laying down today, in fact. Pinkies up. Pentacle, let me say. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Pentacle is represented by Earth and Air energy, as the King of Wands is Fire energy. Mm. This was a volatile combination. Mm hmm. Wanting completion on arguments that was found from nowhere. Mm -mm. The Queen of Pentacle is somebody who's a homemaker and a social, social butterfly. You are an excellent advisor at this moment in time. Because what? Your life is a testimony. And you came through it. What? Smelling like roses, baby. I smell like roses, says Divine Feminine. And the crowd said, uh-huh. Damn straight. Lovely kickoff. Mm -hmm. You're paying no attention to this dick dealing back, back front neck stabbing professional sperm engineer. You've got no time for that, Scotty. Right? Outside influences. 
Is the Sun card another major arcana? Mm -hmm. In the reverse. This speaks about um, possible abortion or loss of a child. If it was a miscarriage, my condolences. Mm -hmm. Outside influences. They're allowing negative thoughts to block all of their best blessings because those negative thoughts are about you, Divine Feminine. Good God. Are you getting a suntan? Right? Because they've turned up their hate. Mm -hmm. This is the best card in the tarot deck in the upright. But in the reverse, Leo energy. Mm-hmm. This person thought, person or people thought you would still continue to be naive to their stabberation. They thought that when you was, what? Rebirthing yourself, realigning your cranium, right? And going up, the king of wands is somebody who has the willpower, right? To go after what they want, not what they need. Yes, baby, you got your head down, Scotty. Mm-hmm. You did your best to maneuver yourself through drama. You avoided drama like the plague. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. This is about you protecting your energies like Smeagol. Understanding that your energy is divine. And what you focus on grows divine feminine. And you are growing a lovely abundant garden. One that is what? Has the foundation of self-worth. Self-made. Some of you have become entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. The Pentacle is also my online card. Some of you could be online making, making a new entrepreneurial business. Putting your back into it, Scotty. Mm -hmm. While this King of Wands still is gazing at the ending of the situation with you. And sending all those negative thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had to back off a B yesterday. Court order. <laughs> hey, we hey. weren't having that. Scotty. Right, you negative thoughts. Keep your thoughts to yourself, blood. In the corners of your tiny mind. Mm -mm. I don't know where they find the time. They was given the big ticket to sit next to the driver on a spiritually short bus, right? But yet all they can think about is you. A lot of negativity. Mm -hmm. This is sun in reverse. Is also somebody that is extremely jelly bug jelly, right? Them jealous until they're bitter with it. And their tongue is a spiteful, spiteful belt. Yeah, belt of untruths and malignancy. But what you wish for others, you will get for back for yourself. Let me split this deck, right? Because they're stagnant and stuck, right? They've got no new beginning. Mm -mm. No direction. And they're stuck with somebody they'd like to leave and they can't go, right? Look, they've even got passion and pleasure in the reverse. No cleansing, cleansing waters in there. They have what? Attachments, spiritual attachments on them. Feeding into their vanity and their bottom feeding ways. Mm. Good golly gosh. All of those upside down cardos. I have to shuffle that energy to get it off. Mm -mm. Not liking that at all. Directing all of that energy at you. If you have progeny, this person has been an absent parent in life. And it was solely to get on your tits. Yeah, that means get on your bloody nerves in the UK. They wanted to get right up on there. Mm -hmm. Narcissistic. Spiteful and evil to the core. What is possibly blocking my Divine Feminine at this moment in time? Mm. Mm. Good golly gosh. Divine is not ramping today. You've got the Eight of Swords, right? You've got five cards. You know the five is represented by the Hierophant Taurus energy, right? Divine is coming into your cranium and it's given to you. It's given it to you without Vaseline, Divine Feminines. Now listen up, Scotty. Listen up, right? You're allowing yourself to be caught up in your cranium, right? With burdens of a past situation, right? That brought you nothing but sadness, loss, heartache, right? Damaged your hairline, right? Put you on a what? A crusty dab of palmers, right? Look at this. Makes you want to throw up in your mouth. 
Vomit in your mouth. Right? Through what you had put yourself through. Some of you are stuck in the wire. I how could listen, baby, drop that bitch. Hurry and drop it. You've got things to do. Right? And allowing yourself to be what? Ruminating over burdens that you have been given the opportunity because you are in top manifestation mode with this two of cups behind you. And all that's left behind is truly sorry. Yes, be a bit. They're really like, this is Cupid's arrows is striking them now. They felt, they feel like they love you now. Now that you're gone. Yes, be a bit. Keep getting gone. Mm -hmm. Yes, be a bit. They'd like to come and be that passionate one. Deal, doing a bit of dig dealing, right? And subterfuge in your life, right? Mm -hmm. But this goes to the nine of us. This is about you having a spiritual awakening. Yes, be a bit. No longer being vulnerable, right? To the easy what? The easy takedown. Mm -hmm. For others, this is telling me that you are... You are releasing yourself from mental torture, to mental torment over something that was burdening you for a long time. A situation where you felt rejected or you rejected that situation because you felt that I deserve better than that blood. You know what I mean? Listen, I paid for steak and I get what? Corn? Corn? <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh -huh. This five of cups is um um Scorpio energy as well as Venus energy. Mm -hmm. This is about you having um hindsight, the full 2020 now, right? You've got the wisdom to know that forgiveness is necessary, right? In order to complete your healing and go forth in your life purpose. One that is going to be blessed and highly favoured. Again, I, we see communication. You're going to be having some income. Some kind of email, right? About a new beginning. This is also Cupid's arrow striking because I told you. Some of my f divine feminine phenotians, prototypes, are going into a divine union. I just felt it in my solar plexus, BRB. It's going to sweep you off your feet. Listen, nobody can't get me from my knees. Have you ever seen, right? A six-month-old baby, once they've learned to stand up, they don't want to sit down. You try and sit them down, the legs are straight out. Can't get me off my feet? No! Not unless I have your birth chart and I see what your family is like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this person that's coming towards you at this moment in time, Divine Feminine, this is somebody that's going to want to put their back into it, literally. Mm-hmm. Comes with the experience in the bedroom. Yeah. A new beginning. This person is also spiritually guided. The only block you have at this moment in time, right, is whatever negativity is being sent to you by this what? This bitter bottom feeder, right? Mm-hmm. Said something, the name Franklin Frank, Francine. Mm. Renelle, Rochelle. Okay. Move this over here. What can my divine feminines be expecting at this point as we approach the cold moon? Because it's for cleansing and healing. Get all up and into your Chiron. Right? It's just the cards are just jumping out. You've got a three and you know how I love a three. This is you turning your back on toxicity and achieving your wish fulfillment. This is you mastering a skill. Right? Becoming a major craftsperson. This is also my social media. You could be m mastering the skill of how to use social media to your benefit. This is about you having a lot of mutual people working for your benefit. Yes, we have been working together, hand in hand. And bringing in the what? The big pentacle. Aha. Uh -huh. Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Yes, baby. It's all go for you, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Once you what? Straight drop this, zip lock that. Get young Jeezy in that bitch. Oh gosh. Please. Mm-hmm. This is you understanding that the situation that you was in. That that situation was on shaky grounds, right? You never knew where you stood. Mm-hmm. You felt singular in that situation. That is why your back is to partnership. There was no true partnership in that situation. And it was keeping you away from your wish fulfillment, your emotional happiness. Nine of Cups is represented by um Pisces. 
as well as Jupiter energy, you need to understand that this moment in time of what you need to expect is that you are too blessed to be stressed, divine feminine. This is a time for you to have balance, right? And victory. Your dreams, your wishes, and your desires are being fulfilled. Why? Because you paid attention to the process. You accepted that dark night of the soul. Isolated, as we already saw. We saw a depiction of the hermit on these um on one of these cards. I've forgotten what it's called. But I did show you one of anyway, let me get back to the point. Mm -hmm. What is the final outcome for my divine feminines? You are too blessed to be stressed. Mm -hmm. Yes, be a big divine feminine the same haters. Whomsoever's watching because they are watching you on social media and they don't like it. They're sending a lot of negative energy. They want they want you to fail, right? They want you to fail, right? Have no edges, be living on the street, right? Looking for pennies. That's what they want. Right? And they're gathering intel, big time, king of swords. This person would like to take action, negative action towards you. But we also have the chariot. Good golly gosh. Right in front of that devil energy. Listen, then with them broke down vehicle. <laughs> Cancer energy. As well as Capricorn energy. On top of the king of swords. This is about you gathering information on all addictive behavior. It could be people, places, or things. Yes, be a bit. And what? Showing, um, giving a show of strength. This is about you moving forward, rushing forward to your new beginning. A divinely guided new beginning because you are light worker for the most high. You have been chosen divine feminine. I pull so that can sink in. You need to understand Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Was blind, but now you see. This is why the third eye is lit up. And now that you see, you wish a bitch would. Hey, ho. Oh, because I'm telling you, the king of swords gathers information and takes immediate swift action. Mm-hmm. Also, others are gathering information on you. But this is all behind you. You're not paying no attention to you. You don't listen. We don't pay attention to the rear, rear, was it rear view mirror people. No. It's full of nightmares and air shit. And we don't love it. We don't. Mm. I'm going to go around this again. This is a lot of intel for this, this cold moon, cold full moon coming. Mm -hmm. Of course, on the base of the deck, divine feminine, it says, You are a badass being, full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. Listen, I can't make this shiz naive up, I swear down. Scott it. Right? This is about you avoiding looking at this dick dealer or even paying attention. This is you being TV one day, Easter Island, right? Because that person doesn't change. They haven't changed one thing. No transformation in that situation. This person has also had a loss of status. They may even be experiencing, or you, Divine Feminine, the death of a loved one. Mm -hmm. This is after a long term illness. This is Scorpio energy. This person hasn't transform, transformed. Yes, be a bit. While you, well, back at the ranch, right? You've been sleeping like Sleeping Beauty, right? In your what? Your bed of righteousness and possibilities. You've healed. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you focused on your big pentacle. You put your effort into it. Yes, be a bit. Mm -hmm. And this is why you're, emotion, you're gaining emotional happiness, your Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Going straight from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, right? Wish fulfillment. This is a happy home life. If you have progeny, they are happy too. I'm seeing two women here. This could also you two women or two men in a same sex relationship with children. Mm -hmm. You've moved, moved towards your Ten of Cups, darling dear. You ain't got no time for bullshit. You work hard for that Pentacle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you have achieved accolades, a di diplomas. 
Mm -hmm. Ending of a course, whatever. But you are now being able to rest because I'm telling you, you was on tenterhooks. You didn't know if you was going to get it or not. You thought there was going to be no change in your life, but Divine had a different plan for you. World card on all that shit. And all that was left behind. They are watching you big time at King's status, right? Looking at that closed chapter. With you, Divine Feminines, with you! Mm -hmm. What about these bottom feeders that are directing all of that negative energy towards my Divine Feminine? These simpletons, right? Full of zemblanity and want you to have a big slice of that shiznai. After you've turned your, your pain into champagne and pentacles, I think not. Justice, Libra energy in the reverse is on your side, Divine Feminines. Mm -hmm. This was a situation where there was no balance, right? Mm -hmm. You was at the mercy of others. It was a lot of unfair treatment in that situation. But you have to understand, karmatic justice knows their address. They are getting the full length and breadth of cause and effect, darling dears. This is about legal disputes as well and people learning life lessons. This is also stating that you will have good luck in a court case. You have papers on them. And it's an encyclopedia. Because you're the high priestess, darling dear. You know how to do research. Because you went within and said, let's see. Let me look at all of the things that's happened and who was wrong. Okay, it wasn't me. Wasn't me. It was them. Yeah, them. Um, the ones we said F-arm about. Yeah, those ones. High Priestess, water as moon and as moon energy. Mm -hmm. I told you, Boaz and Jashin, the two pillars of wisdom, as found outside King James's pillars of wisdom, King James's temple of wisdom in the Book of Kings. Yes, be a bit. Mm -hmm. Completion and beginning. Game over to those bottom feeders, whatever they was trying to do. Go back his tools, that shit. You left them behind emotionally. Eight, nine, and ten of cups. Divinely timed. Divinely ordered steps, my Phoenician. Know that you are chosen. You weren't picked. We don't pick, right? You were chosen, right? And you're not accepting that bloody cup of opium, right? From that Fagin, right? That did deal in Fagin, Fagin, right? I nearly said Fagrant. Yeah, he's a Fagrant. Yeah. A vagrant and a fagin. You now know where to live and your life forget what you want. Right? I've got my wish fulfillment and my wish fulfillment is not you. I wish you to stay where you are. Dickhead. Excellent, eh? You've learned to speak your truth, Divine Feminine. What about this trepation in the cranium? Not wanting to put down this burden. Somebody so sorry and lost in guilt would like to communicate with you. And the ace of wands stat. They want to communicate with their genitalia. Good God. Perish the thought. Where is their birth chart? Do we have their encyclopedia of misdeeds? Indeed, we do. Mm -hmm. They would love to come through because you're the star. Some of you are achieving fame somewhat. Yeah, having subconsciously poured away what no longer serves you. That bird represents your higher self. Listening to your higher mind. Using your discernment. Right? Some of you have your feet in two worlds. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You have stepped into that pool of spirituality because that was the only way that you could achieve what? Dominion of yourself. This is also the king of Pen Pentecale. Mm -hmm. Coming through for his queen. Yes, baby. Look at the two of you, two different decks. You haven't met yet. <laughs> hey, but it's going down like Bobby Brown. Yes, baby. With this big, listen, the passion. This is a passionate person that's coming towards you. Passionate about you because they're self-assured. This is somebody who is emotionally stable. They're not mud sick, head no good in the cranium. No, they are balanced out. This is someone who's self-made just like you, Divine Feminines. A match made in heaven. Pardon the pun. Mm -hmm. The expectation of receiving that wish fulfillment, that emotional happiness, which you so truly deserve, Divine Feminines. Be assured, 
Right? Oh, hell no. Look! It's page energy. Fell in the reverse. Right? It's on the floor because it's out of your life. Yes, baby. You told them to tie a yellow ribbon around that old, old tree. Mm-hmm. This person is feeling extremely guilty. Right? This person is actually absolutely malicious. Right? With the gossiping and the nastiness. Right? Water and earth energy. This person is the prisoner of their own broken dreams and directing a lot of envy towards you. This person is extremely abusive. Yes, baby. Have you not what? Healed their inner child. They have a lot of childhood issues. Mm-hmm. Try to keep you in a... Try to keep the empress. Right? The high, divine feminine in a power... Uh, look, look. This is them. This is you. You got that guap, baby. Yeah. And the potential to go and get more. Because you see your ships coming in. The two of wands is about you balancing out your duality. Mm -hmm. Aries as well as Venus energy. This is about a good partnership coming towards you with true cooperation and compassion. This is you continuing to use your knowledge and be patient, divine feminines. Mm -hmm. And continue with your plans to carry out your highest ideals, your highest ideas. Because this person, you ain't accepting nothing. You don't want them to pass your doorstep, right? Because you've got a what? You've got a, a shiz or two for them. They didn't even pass in my neighborhood, dick dealer. Listen, Queen of Pentecalli again, miss it. You are stable and know your worth. You're not accepting nothing from them. Ignore them. <coughs> Excuse me. Had to cough up then. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. Listen, you've told them exactly how you felt and you did not hold back. Mm -hmm. Continue to make the right decisions. You are keeping your wits about you. As I said, some of you are counseling and the counseling started with self. Mm -hmm. Learning those new skills, achieving true stability. This goes to four of Pentecale, right? Some of you are buying new properties, exchanging keys. It could, even, could also be an automobile. A new what? Chariot of righteousness for you, divine feminines. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, baby. And you did not need a village to help you because you got your pen to Kelly game on lock. You understand how to operate the matrix. And the two pentacles, the two, they're both holding a pentacle. That goes to two of pentacles. This is, this is you riding the pole solo. Like the girls in the strip club. I'm not saying that you're in it. You're on that pole solo. Dolo. Right, and you are rocking the shit out of everything. You understand your worth. And not only does the grass grow greener under you, you are the seed for the grass. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah. Foolishness and subterfuge. Mm -hmm. You gathered the information on that toxic, addictive situation and used spirituality to get you out of it, strat. Right? No! The devil two times! Listen. They tried to hold you back. And this person is extremely big time jealous of you. They're jealous on the fact that you managed to what? Turn the wheel around, Scotty. In some cases, acquire a chariot of righteousness. They believed you couldn't because they was judging you by their own devilish ways and limitations. Trust and believe that person is still tied in a bottom feeding situation. Excellent. Excellent. Mm. The trash took itself out. Mm -hmm. The trash took itself out and the cards are running away. Sit there, Nay. Come in that bullshit. Then you have to start with my threat to talk about BC and RC. Look. That one night stander, right? The one with the community genitalia would love to offer back up to you, but they can't. They don't know how to approach the throne. Not at all. Never. Niete, deceased, right? J just to say a few words. Don't do it, Scotty. Don't do it, man. No, no, no. No, not when Divine Feminine is in King of Swords status. She will whip you with her mentality. Yes, baby, she will have you trapped up with words. Right? I she have your file. King size file at that. Shaved bird. Mm -hmm. You can't come and destabilize me. Right? From ascending my mountains. Whatever I'm doing, I'm going to do it as far away from you because I'm keeping trotting on, right? I'm jogging on, right, Johnny boy, right? Because I believe in magic, the magic of the universe, 
which has got me away from you. Separated what? The wheat from the chaff. Mm -hmm. Because you tried to keep me in a box. You bastard. Yeah, tried to keep me in a box. Especially the one that you put in my mind. Right? With your high command of Decepticon narcissistic ways. Prakula. Digila. Fagin. Listen, don't let me start again, you know. Double devil. Yes, baby. Mm -mm. This person is so jealous of you. They would like to rush in at this moment in time, but they don't have a leg to stand on. They're riding on a horse on its back blood. <laughs> this is good. Where them I come from, them nana steer us. Right? This person is feeling extremely depressed at this moment in time. And we already know that they're spiritually deficit. Right? Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. They're a troublemaker. And they're nothing but a one night standard. They've only got, they're a one shot jewelry. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. No, no. Not after you've what? Cleaned off your seat of empress and empresses and balanced out your cranium and learned how to bend the matrix in order to get the big pentacale. Because what does pentacale bring? It brings power and choice. Yes, baby. Let me get some FPs on this shiz night, then I'm out of here, for show. Sure. Any final intel for Divine Feminines? Yes, baby, you did your research. Mm -hmm. This is why you've hit the jackpot. You got a full understanding of the situation, right? And you're not no effing Samaritan to them back front legs, tubbers. Approach me, if you dare. You're not nobody's, listen. Anything, any weapon formed against you shall fail, chosen one. Some of you are going to be experiencing a pregnancy at this moment in time. Don't be shy, dear. This is your coming out party. Let me get another deck. Mm -hmm. You, the whomsoever this person was, they may have a pregnancy in their situation. Maybe keep your back turned. Keep your back turned, and if you're trying to get a divorce, listen, you're going to get it. Just get there far. Go with it and ignore all of that shit. It's got nothing to do with you. Right? That's if the pregnancy is real, because we saw the arm sun card in reverse. Could be a phantom pregnancy. Don't plagiarize them one and neither. Right? I told you, justice is being served. 11. This is um, the number 11. Right? This is a master number. Mm -hmm. this, as, as, this is a um, decision being made, a resolution, a season of resolution, and this is going to cause pain and heartache to others. Fabulous. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Same way they wanted your Listen. Because the fates have stepped in for you, darling dear. Right? Because you showed gratitude and you've got no time for budget, low budget bitches on a spiritual short bus. It's a trap! It's a trap! Avoid! Avoid! Mm -hmm. And pack light. Don't carry any of those mental burdens that they're trying to put on you. Because they are nothing but an energy vampire and a user of your everything. Right. On that note, I dropped me mic. Total over to Teesprings, where I have a plethora of paraphernalia that will surely titillate your fancy. Or join me over on the TikTok for the one card read. Mm -hmm. If you require a personal read from me, all of my information is in the description box below. Or you can contact me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. Anybody that's trying to use devilish energy to scuff you at this moment in time, because that this could also can also represent um um how can i put it a hierarchy in an organization double double energy but you can't listen you can't dis distress right the blessed and highly favored devil energy twice they're going to put their back into it because they're getting them their answers from the lead their leader and their leader is showing them about jealousy of you they're jealous because they couldn't tame you Right? Because you got in your chariot of righteousness. Too sweet. And you said dos for Danya. Right? Or double. Ciao. Mm -hmm. On that note, as I said, I dropped the mic. Thank you very much for your continued appreciation of me, your support, your super chats. Um, continue to send your emails. I answer all of the emails. 
you know it may take me a couple of days because they are coming in thick and strong but it is what it is and members also i also offer a membership on this channel members get to choose the direction of the read on a thursday why thursday it's jupiter thursday for truth expansion and the solution way yeah mm -hmm. and as i always say from the ashes baby namaste